ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 11 of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Thanks for tuning in. Last episode, we created... This bad boy right here. I realized that y'all didn't really get to see it in its full glory. So let's go to sleep and then we'll fly out and you can check it out. So as you can see, our guardian friends all get pushed down to the middle. Go all the way up into our little kill chamber right here, which we can convert and kill them if we wanted to use this as an XP farm or as a looting farm in case we really wanted to get some more some more loot. But this thing pumps out the jams. I mean, we got two full chests plus some it's great another change that we made last episode was our nether tunnel which looks pretty cool coming out in f5 mode if you ask me and then we have our transition into our red and blue question mark red and green red and green yeah it's like green blue blue green whatever it is we also as i said in the last episode i finished up the squid ink portal which as you can see leads to our squid goodbye but thank you for your service we've also got our in portal tunnel all made out put some chorus fruit some chorus flowers in there and kind of grew them up and then Kind of broke it up a little bit. I like it. I like the way it came out. Let me know what you think. I uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, and then, yeah, that leads to our end portal. This episode, what are the goals? You'll notice that I have a ladder right here because I needed to get to the ender, the ender roof, the nether roof with an ender pearl right there. But we've already done that. And the reason we needed to do that. One thing that I have come to learn that I need just need more of in my Minecraft life is rotten flesh. As you can see, I cannot get enough of it. We even have half of another double chest full up here. So you know what we're going to do this episode? We're going to build another rotten flesh farm. Now, most of y'all would probably be asking me, Buddha. Why would you ever want to make a rotten flesh farm? Well, for one thing, you can eat rotten flesh. I don't know if y'all knew that. Second off, one of the side products to the rotten flesh farm is actually these little, what look like uncooked chicken nuggets right here, but they're actually gold nuggets if you've never seen them before. These two items, mainly the rotten flesh, but apparently some of, we're going to have to do something with the gold. I guess we'll make it into gold blocks or something. But the rotten flesh we can use, and we can use that often. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Enjoy this rotten flesh farm time lapse.
major major sigh y'all so y'all saw that we had some gas problems while building that farm and apparently the game glitched when i died to the gas none of my armor or my items dropped only xp i might have rage quit a little bit <laughs> if we're being honest um that was super super disappointing so i just had to spend a very long time uh getting some not as good armor back pretty much like we don't even have unbreaking on our icarus arms or good unbreaking on anything else at least we got mending but we've got nothing on our tools i'm waiting to get some more lapis so we can enchant it but until then we're gonna we're gonna bootstrap bootstrap back and finish this gold farm so then we can do some block therapy and build some trees because we need that in our lives right about now so I lost all of our magma blocks, so I have to go farm some more of those. So here is a 10 second time lapse of me getting magma cubes and finishing this gold farm. I will see y'all in a little, little, little bit. got our rotten flesh farm going now this thing is going to pump out the flesh which is what we wanted it for we're gonna have to do something with the gold nuggets but we'll figure that out eventually i think there's some kind of trading or something that we can do but as you can see all these bad boys are gonna fall down here and give us all the rotten flesh that we could ever want oh i'm so excited so excited for some rotten flesh. Lego my egos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all of this stuff out. We'll throw away the, the nuggets eventually. Um, but I definitely want to save these. I've got a shulker box specifically for them ready to go. And then I guess we'll save some of the some of the gold in here. Just because we do have some gold. And I mean, we might as well not let it go to waste. But we definitely need more rotten flesh. But that's not too bad. I mean, it'll all go somewhere eventually. Uh, but that's really good. That, not so bad. That is really good. That, not so bad. Only zombie piglins can spawn on the magma blocks as long as there's not a 4x4 four four space. Or else ghasts will spawn, as you saw from me dying. That was a lot of fun. Magma cubes also won't spawn in that kind of space, so we can just get all of the rotten flesh that we want. I think I'm going to make this into a target. AFK tests. We'll do about 30 minutes. We'll see what happens. We'll see how good this thing produces. See if we need to build a couple more layers or not. But I have a feeling it'll it'll get us our rotten flesh needs for sure. It has been 30 minutes. Let's see what our rotten flesh... Oh, wow. Can't even fit it all in. Oh, man. We are going to have so much of this stuff. So much of it. We can't even. We got. That's how much rotten flesh we got. We can't even hold it all. So in 30 minutes, we got one and a half, almost a half, double chests full of rotten flesh. I would say that this rotten flesh farm is working just fine. How much gold do we have to get rid of? Let's see. Almost nine stacks of gold ingots. I'm just kidding, y'all. Y'all know this is a gold farm, right? So, all of this stuff is actually going to go bye-bye. But, this is working very, very well. And I 
Oh, hello. Come on. Hey. This is going to be this is going to be great. Oh, I can't wait. Now, we are going to do some building therapy. And build some trees and do some landscaping around our house cuz we need it. We need it to feel like home. It does feel like home, but we need to feel it make it feel like home even more so with some custom trees. So Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yep, this rotten flesh farm is amazing. You can now see we've gotten rid rid <laughs> gotten rid of most of the torch spam that was on we still got some up there. But I'll grab those in a bit, but See, we got some lanterns down here. I could have done this with shroom lights or um, which of uh glowstone, glowstone, yeah, glowstone. Uh, could have done it with those, but I really like lanterns for some reason. Uh, and we have a guardian farm now, so why not? Yeah. Now we need to tackle <laughs> this torch spam over here this i don't i can't I, there's no like sand colored carpet and i don't really want to go around and put a bunch of just lanterns in the middle of sand because i don't think that looks very good okay, like, like that i mean i guess i could put white over it but i don't think white's gonna look good either so we Still don't have silk touch on my picks yet. That's great. We're gonna use some woods. Don't know which wood just yet. We're gonna start with dark. generic with an even more generic one which at least will look a little bit better which is just literally that so now <laughs> instead of a bunch of torch spam which there's still some torches in there we have a bunch of lantern spam which is what it is we're going to develop this area a little bit more i just like not having torches everywhere this area looks great i'm ready to build some trees over here oh show but right now, I'm going to get rid of some more torches, and then we'll build our first tree. This is just how we're going to do it for now. Apparently, those are acacia, and all of those are oak. Oops. I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a little pathway. Eventually, don't know. That might be this episode. Yeah, we'll probably do that this episode. But this pathway is going to go out, and then I might build a little entrance into that little back area. Ooh, that kind of sounds nice. Maybe we'll do pathway and bridge that way, and then pathway into. I like that idea. And then that way, that'll clear up and break up a lot of this lantern spam that we have going on right now and hopefully make this place uh look pretty cool so i've gone ahead i've gone ahead and built two two and a half custom trees i say this is a half because it's not really custom it's two two by two acacia trees on top of each other but it looks pretty good for what it is honestly uh yeah we'll do a little flyby i added two more trees other than just these guys over here i added that guy up top right there and then i also added this guy up top over here to kind of give us a little bit of depth i mean we are mainly going to be down here doing our thing so what that does is that adds a little bit of depth as we go by see even that one does too 
I like it. I think we're gonna add a couple of more in here, and I'll show you how show you how it's done real quick. We're gonna add one down here, I think. And let's make it let's make the center of it here. That's going to be the center. We can actually go ahead and just do it this way. gonna make it have a little root system. Looks pretty good. Let's get rid of these leaves. Down here. Okay. Get rid of these leaves. And I kind of want the tree to come out towards the ship a little bit so we can kind of get an overhang over here. So what we're gonna do is here, and then we just boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Probably need to get rid of more of these leaves down low, but let's go. Let's go take a look at it and see. What it looks like. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Kind of want a little bit more movement. Oh, actually not horrible. We need a little bit of light in there. And get rid of more of the leaves. Maybe put more leaves up top. Add a little light. what it looks like. Oh yeah, that is a lot better. Okay, I like this. Let's put a light up top. And I think we need another tree, maybe right there. It reminds me of our XP trees at our original base a little bit. This one went out that way, so what if we, this one goes this way? What if we triple decker this one? Oh, I like that. Oh, almost died. Y'all, this is starting to look like a base here with some trees. What can I say? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna triple decker this bad boy. It's gonna look awesome. But this is a good looking tree right here. Fun fact. All you need to do is alternate stacking four by four trees to get cool custom trees. All right, we need to do the bottom part real quick. We're gonna add a couple more of these bad boys in here. Where should we add them? Let's see, I think I definitely need a tree up here. And then definitely a tree inside of our little garden area. Maybe a tree right here? That might look nice. I think that might do it. We have a tree. Oh, this isn't a bad spot. Put a tree right here. Coming out over. Oh, I kind of like that in that style. You can kind of see it. They kind of blend in up there. At night, they look really good. We've got some lights in there. Maybe we'll wait until night to show you. But we've also got some trees over here, some trees right here. We've got our little walkway going through, which I think looks pretty good. I also added two more trees, but one more tree. And then I think we're going to call it in between episodes. I'm going to spruce up that uh, walkway in there. And I think the final tree of this episode is going to go right here. What if we did an upside down tree? That's an idea. Hmm. Hmm. 
But for now, we're just going to do a regular tree. Root systems. Okay. Okay. I think it's looking pretty good. And then I think we're going to do another one on top. See how this looks. Oh, we can barely see it. All right, let's see if our little trick will work. Oh, hello there. That's super scary. Oh, that was super scary. Let's get some arrows. Wow. Falling creepers. Got him. All right. Oh, almost died. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see what this looks like. See how it looks from out here? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's put a little lamp on the top. I think we might be good to go on this bad boy. And that might do it for this episode, y'all. We've done a lot. I mean, not crazy amounts, but we've done a lot. And uh, for being a weekly video, I kind of might be scaling back some of the size of the projects that I do, but I'm going to still try and keep it coming. Oh, show. Let's sit back here. Oh, yeah, you can see a little peak coming out with a little bit of lamp in there. Let's see how it looks as, as we go through our house, our homes, whatever this is. Oh, it's not horrible. Might clean it up a little bit. I don't like that or that or that. Some of these too. Add some foliage around with that lantern right there. That might do it for us. Let's actually let's put some water in here. Because why not? You know? This is our world. We can do what we want with it. I've got an idea. Oh! <laughs> Uh, I gotta get unbreaking on my elytras. Get out of here. Get out of here. With that nice little water feature. Look at that. That is, that looks really good. Maybe we might connect that up top. But for now, I think this works out great. You, I'm trying to do an outro. I think this looks... Hold on. Hold on. They're gone. They're gone. Give me your guts. All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this episode has been a wild ride. I lost all of my gear that I had at one point in it. We built ourselves a rotten flesh farm which works amazingly well we've got so much rotten flesh i cannot believe that this works so well as it doesn't work <laughs> in this outro we made ourselves a little pathway and also customized our little area a little bit more so we could have some nice new trees that we can play off of and we're going to do a little bit more landscaping. I got to mob proof some more, apparently. But that being said, I think we're looking pretty good in our home base. It's starting to feel like we actually live here. Look at that. It's looking pretty good, y'all. Oh, don't forget our new water feature. And kind of start of the interior garden. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one, y'all. I think this place is looking pretty good. Oh. Hi, kitty. Pet the cat.